Let's put some basic materials on our ceiling fan and make it look something like this. All right, so in Blender, what we're going to do is we're going to select this region right here. I'm going to come to the shading tab. Let me create a new material. And I'm going to call this gold. You can do any colors you want, but I'm going to use gold. I'm going to click on the principal BSDF. I'm going to zoom in with my mouse wheel and I'm going to delete that. Now I'm going to press Shift A, Shader, Mix Shader. Now I'm going to press Shift A, Shader, Glossy. And I'm going to make this sort of a, a yellowish gold color. I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to make this a darker color of the same. I'm going to connect one to the top and one to the bottom. And then I'm going to shift a input and I'm going to choose layer weight. I'm going to change the blend to about 0 0.8. And I'm going to take this facing and put that into the fact of the mix shader. Drag that into the surface and I'll get this effect. And what this does is it gives sort of a gradient effect. I can pull through here and you can see what it does. So I'm going to leave that at 0 0.8 and you can experiment with these colors and get the effect that you that you want. So I'll leave it around there and I have some sort of gold. Now I've got this normal input on these shaders here and I'm going to add some noise to this. So I'm going to choose texture noise and I want this to be bump so I'm going to add vector bump I'm going to take the FAC, plug it into the height, and I'm going to take this normal, plug it into here, and here. So you can see that. I'm going to add a texture coordinate node. Note. And I'm going to use object to vector and take this and plug it in there. And I'm going to use object. I just find it look a little a little nicer. Let's change the scale of the noise to about 350. the detail. Let's take the strength down to about 0 0.1 to start with. You can see that there. Just for a little bit of something. Let's try 0 0.2. Okay. Maybe it's something like that. Now I also want other parts to be gold, so I'm going to select this part, come here and choose gold. And now I want some black. So I'm going to choose this here. And I'm going to choose new. And I'm going to call this black. And that'll give me this stuff. But I'm going to come back to the gold. A. Control C to copy. Come back to black. Let's get rid of this. 
control V and this is the part that won't block this part's gold this part's going to be black and in the black I'm going to bring this back to zero roughly darker this part here something like that for my black okay I'm gonna want these to be black Now what I can do is I can select multiple things, this Alt Shift, and all these things that I want black, and this and this, and then click this last, and then go Control L, Materials, and they'll all be black. So I'll select this one, and this one, and this one, and then something that's already black, Control L materials and let's make these bolts gold so select them hold shift click that control L materials and I guess some gold on there okay I think I want this top piece to be black and I also think that I'm going to change this back to 0 0.1 so I'm going to come in here I'm going to come over to materials I can see I've got one material on there and I'm going to add another material on here which I want to be the block I'm going to come in and in face selection number 3 I'm going to hold shift and alt and click there and then I want it all the way down so I'm going to hit control plus and that will grow my selection keep going and if I go too far I'll go control minus so this is the region I want black with the black selected I'm going to click aside and what you'll notice is it sort of extends down here and that's because I've got a subdivision surface on here I'm going to add another edge loop and slide it up control R slide it up let's zoom in here and press G G for edge slide and pull it up and that's pushing the black up right to about there there we go so I've got black there all right let's do something with these bulbs let's select them press new I'm going to call this emission and over in the materials Instead of principal BSDF, I'm going to choose emission. I'm going to change this to maybe five. Come over to this tab here. I'm going to use EV, ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space reflections. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to render this, but I'll change that to 120. Under ambient occlusion, I'm going to change this to 1.5. And I have a glowing light come over here choose emission this one emission and this one let's go back to Leo look on look dev and we can see our our light now if you want you can click on scene scene lights here you can increase the world opacity and you can see the HDR in the background if you if you like that effect and you can also click on this and change it maybe we like that one better and another thing that you can do if you like now that you've got your your lamp there is make sure you've got it in a collection so I've selected it all I said M new collection and I called it fan and now I can go shift a collection instance fan and it will bring another fan in and if I was to change this one it will change this one but on this one I can just select the whole thing like just by clicking any part of it and I can rotate that in the X 
I can have this in a different orientation if I want. And then I can just shift D and G, I can copy that. Rotate, just arbitrarily, yeah, let's rotate that in the X. Say we want to see the bottom of it, like that. Rotate in the Z a little bit. All right, and now you've got all of those in one view if you wanted to show off the different parts. And if we come over here and look at the statistics, it hasn't changed from the original one. All right, if I delete this, it's still 32,739. All right, so when you bring in a collection instance, it doesn't increase the number of polys. So you could populate a room, you could have a hundred of these, and it would still say 32,739. Right, the only thing you got to worry about is, is when you move this original one. Things get a little funny. Okay, it moves everything kind of weirdly, so let's keep that in mind. So there are our lamps with, uh, or I keep calling them lamps, ceiling fans really, uh, with their materials. Alright, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.